can clear just as quickly as the Kindred. And especially when we look towards the split map that we have for JDG and LGD. JDG's priority is going to be down towards this bottom side where they're in Well, I thought Kanavu was going to go for a 1v1, but he's got his eyes on the top lane here. Lanshink doesn't get knocked up, though. Zooms all out of abilities. It's on Kanavi. Flash comes out from Lanshing. Are they going to follow for the dive here? Looks like the answer is yes. The Dance of Arrows out and Kanavi. Is... The fleet footwork would have been a far better call here for Kray. Yeah, the tempo definitely looking towards. He can jump over and go for a steal if he wants to. The Dance of Arrows available to get over the wall, but goes down way too Oh, quick. teleport and that destiny. Here we go. Loken's in trouble here. Doesn't have his Flash available. Great ult, but there is a huge CC chase follow. Peanut with the kill. Now Lumao finds himself alone underneath this tower. Misses the cannon as well. It's a disaster for Lumao. Goes straight on towards Peanut, but it's Xie that is tanking the tower, and this means it'll be a nice, easy kill for the side of LGD, and a perfectly executed dive. They do trade the mid lane turret to make that play happen on the bottom side. But while they do get a tower in the bottom lane, JDG got two towers elsewhere. And a TP on the map. coming on bot side. Oh, we got a TP coming out. It's from Yagao who's trying to make the play here. TP being answered, but he's knocked up, denied by the call of the Forge God. And now he's here. His own horn has been sounded and he wants himself a kill. Shie might just get solo killed by Zoo. Still manages to crack down on Shie, put him in his place. But Kanavi on the top side doing exactly what Kanavi does best. Getting in, stealing away these camps, but has found Longshi. He's gonna find himself a 1v1 against the enemy Kale, but Kramer is here as well. The curtain call finds it slow, and there's no way out for Kanavi. G, uh, LGD, sorry, gonna find themselves somewhat of a lead in the early game. LGD just did a good job of avoiding them. And now again, JDG are looking to, instead of going down the map, Kramer position so far back, everyone else has a decent amount of uh, mobility that makes it hard to lock them down. So JDG instead happy to just take the dragon, but LGD doing the correct call, giving this game. Oh, Ooh, Kanabi on. managed to grab his blue buff there. Arrow goes wide, slow coming out. Lumao trying to engage the play here. Peanuts low and will be taken down. Kanabi with a 22 minute Baron if they're able to get it. Peanut is down, so there's no smite available. Lunching teleports into play, locked up by Lumao, but there's not much follow up from the rest of the team now. The ultimate comes out to keep him safe, but. Logan's going to be able to finish this kill off to start off another play here. Zoom's a long way away from the play. Peanut is here and he is the king of the smites. He's the king of thieves and he might just look to try and make it happen once again. He's taken by Shie of all people and LGD. They get away with it as always. There's one pick. What more can JDG find here? Mark going to be the target here. Knocked up and should be taken out as well. Two kills, but it's a Baron. Dealing with an Orn is not easy when you're playing Jin. Call of the Forge God available in just one second here. Zoom pops it on cooldown. Straight towards the Dragon. It is going to be smited. Taken here by Yagao. And now they're on to Peanut as well. The team fight might just go the way of JDG if they can lock everybody up. Lanshing staying alive for now. The taunt wasn't enough. Bloom out closes the gap as Peanut gets yet another kill. Now trying to chase down onto Kramer, but Kanabi keeps himself safe. Locked down, but the Lamb's Respite fight keeps him safe, and Lanshin can't finish off these kills. He's trying his damnedest, but his damnedest ain't enough. And now Kramer tries to escape from the play, but he's being chased down by everyone and their mums. Luma might finish the kill, but it's a triple kill on the side. They will be able to protect themselves. It's Mark. Mark needs to be a little cautious there. We'll get out with the dredge line. Kanabi can't quite finish off the tower. He's out of mana right now. He needs to be careful. Teleport being channeled as they're trying to force a play. They're trying to punish the JDG jungler. Peanut jumps on in with the Thornmail. There's no way that Kanavi can turn that one around. It's an easy kill for Shi. Trying to push these waves back, get control of the mid lane becomes a lot easier. Or they can just make a fight happen on towards this bottom side of the map. Lanshin going to be slowed down. Has to use his ult immediately, but the CC lasts for days. Kanavi is there as well. Everybody's here to take down Lanshin. With the Peanut over the wall, will be spotted out. LGT, or JDG, sorry, have vision. They were just looking for a fight, though. They're gonna force this one back incredibly early on this one. They've got to try and make it still happen. It's gonna go down too quick, though. That was the last chance for LGD. And now the fight in favor of JDG. If they can find Tugs, though, but the Lamps Rest might used incredibly early. Peanut forced out the backside of the fight. Mark happy to tank on the front line. There's a stun on Shear. Has to use his Sonyas. Now a kill goes the way along Shing as well. He's trying to carry the fight, but he doesn't have the damage just yet. The kills are coming out. Taunt on Shea. It's all about Zoom, apparently, who seems to be the carry for the side of JDG. But there's another one. Zoom, Zoom this is not a 1v4 that you can take, my friend. You might be tanky, but 
Maybe he is tanky enough. I'm completely wrong. Zoom barely took a scratch. Yeah, this is where you get to super late game, Orn. Actually opting to go even further into those tanks. That's for Peanut. Not even a stone plate needed. Peanut's the target now. Time Judgment is going to keep him alive for now as Kanavi is 1v4 on the backside while Lanshin gets taken down. Lamb's respite to keep Kanavi alive as he finishes off Mark. JDG, what a way to start this series. Clean team fighting, clean objectives, aside from maybe one steal or two. And now straight on towards the Nexus as well. 17 to 8. And Zoom is practically unkillable at this stage with his Warmogs in his pocket. On towards the Nexus, Peanut desperately escapes the play. This Nexus will fall, and game number one goes the way of JDG. JDG managed to find Iceborne Gauntless and also that Manamune. The Oblivion Orb, Luden's Echo combo from the Zoe and burst out these mid-game fights. However, yeah. okay, but they are now. The CC exists before level six. You might be on Olaf, but that hate spike is going to find the charm. The slow there from the red buff. The blast cone not enough and Peanut's in trouble. No flash in first. Ash in the bottom side so that Bard can roam around. Same with his Lucian in the mid lane. Kanavi, it was a little close, but he does on this bottom side of the map. Kramer, you're about to be dived, my friend. Here we go, the heart comes on in. The stunt is there, the follow-up, the hate spikes. Everything locks Kramer down. Lumao happy to tank the tower. And now suddenly Mike, Mike Mark is the target. Name beginning with M, but he goes down regardless. But they have to get, you know, if two plates go down, it's going to be even. Lumao finds a temp and fate onto Shie as well. There's a stun. The follow-up is perfect. Yagao will be able to just dash over the wall. In fact, flashes to make the play happen. Guarantees the kill. Now they want more as well. Peanut going to be caught by the culling. Knocked up. Uses the Ragnarok, but he's already gone down. Another kill. Okay, so he got damage recently. Yeah. Yeah. So he does manage to get them. Uh, now though, oh, Shie. Shie's in trouble. This could be a kill here. Cull is about to come available, but they don't need the culling. They've Good got quid. And he doesn't have a clue that this is about to happen. He knows he's doomed now. Dive in the bottom side as Kramer locked up with a Hextech ultimatum. This dive is magnificent. Yagao exhausted, but he cleanses it away and now focuses on to Peanut. Two kills go with the way of Zoom. As Mark, a lone kitty cat under the tower, and Kanavi found another victim. Mark's gonna fall, it's Kramer to grab the kill, and JDG on the superior grass of JDG are running away with game number two. This and Zoom, he has the way pushing towards him. He's even gonna go for it a bow. Has the hookshot available, he's just gonna zip away. Final chapter comes in, flash not available, as the Hextech ultimatum has to come out shortly. It's gonna go down onto Pina, who was tanking the tower, but he gets himself a kill. There are still plates for now. The plates finally fall, and that should mean the tower can go down. And in the meantime, Shea forced to flash in the mid lane. That was his real flash too, had to use an exhaust. We'll get away with his life, but there is so much threat across the bottom half of this map. Now Zoom as well can play through this bottom side of the map, shoving that wave super deep. The so game plan from LGD has fallen apart because they've no winning lane matchups. And it feels like the answers are here for JDG as they take yet another tower. And when we look at it for JDG, they're good to fight. Well, they're going to have to be because Langshing starting this one off, getting the knockup onto Kanavi. Double knockup at that. Here's the own combo coming through. Last and Brace just to get away with his life. Now the rest of the team is arriving. That Tempered Fate is locking everybody up. The culling goes through everybody that's golden and finishes the kill. The final chapter does nothing as Mark will be taken down. And JDG are just dominating LGD. Zoom, he wants himself a bonus kill. Kramer, he's going to try and escape for the hook shot to follow. And an easy little How slice. much JDG want this win? Denied Worlds by EDG in 2018. Denied Worlds. And JDG now plunked that Rift Herald down in mid lane, the play. Oh no, Ragnarok was already used. That's going to be a Mikhail's as well as a Flash. Kanavi takes a bit of damage, but the tower's gone down, and that's what they wanted. Now with a Tempered Fate, Peanut, surely the next one to fall. Yagao has plenty of damage to work with, and it's a tactical sweep to finish the kill. The outer Zoom. turret down. There's only one standing in the top lane. Oh, Mark, oh. you are not allowed in that jungle. Are still on the hunt, Kanavi, trying to see if he can find Kramer. Kanavi is having a whale of a time. If he so does. many games in the regular split, but they're not letting that stop them at all this well, game. Well, we're beyond the early game anyway at this point. Langshing knows it as he's desperately trying to escape with his life, but that last embrace is always a doozy. Now Pina in to try and answer the play. TP coming out from Shie as well, but Yagao has the damage to just force Pina out of this one. Shie looking for a trouble bubble. It's only on to Lu Mao. In comes Zoom with the slow. Shie goes golden twice in a row. But in the meantime, the Kitty Cat's been locked in a Hextech ultimatum. Kill goes down, and it's his favorite. JDG, if they can finish this series off, 
They are guaranteed minimum second seed. <laughs> what is that damage? It's going to be out. But it doesn't matter. Kramer's gone. JDG are killing structures. And Baron is what they turn towards. JDG aren't killing structures at this point. They are killing the hope of LGD fans everywhere. LGD's chance at Worlds may well rest on regionals at this point with the way that JDG are dominating this series. Zoom has been the target every single time for LGD. Hextech ultimatum onto Peanut, the hook shot out of there. And the attempt fails miserably. Now onto Lu Mao. They're gonna try and find something out of this play. The crystal arrow goes wide, Zoom jumps over the wall. Lu Mao waiting for his magical journey to come up, doesn't have flash, might go down on this one. Peanut finds a kill. In the meantime, Logan finds an inhibitor. I mean, you got a second kill, oh. LGD, but that's two inhibitor two turrets inhibitors. that are gone for JDG, and uh, they might be able to stop the backs here. Uh, they are definitely going to stop these backs. Zoom is happy to go down for the cause, because in the meantime, there are two AD carries in the base of LGD. Sure, you get the shutdown. Sure, you ruin the Magi stacks. But was it worth the Nexus? I'm not sure that it was. JDG 2 and 0 with a destruction of LGD. With this Braum, very weak bot side for LGD. So I'd be expecting Kanavi to try and play pretty heavily down towards that side. Well, yeah. I got struggling a little bit though in this mid lane to start us off. But that is typically how this matchup's gonna start. We do have a hook coming out from Lu Mao, who's in trouble. Ignite ticking away as well, has to flash away, but so does Kramer to follow for First Blood. The 2v2 in the bottom side. Braum is too strong, and now Kramer could be in trouble himself because Kanavi's arrived, and they're looking to turn around the play. Right Mark will walk himself. Nice play out of Pino to capitalize on this one. In the meantime, Kanavi's moved to the mid lane. We could have a 3v2 as she ate. Gonna be taunted up. There's the Sonic Wave coming on in. Flash still available, followed on up. But now they're going on to the jungler. Instead, it's going to be a kill going the way of Peanut. And LGD may be finding themselves on the board here. Gold card comes on out. Peanut dodges the Sonic Wave. It's going to be Lumao going down surely. But Peanut has to flash. Second kill going the way of Shie now. As Kanavi continues the fight. Yagao teleports back in. But he's stunned by the gold card. Stunned by the concussive blows. Zoom's arrived on the play. Forcing the flash out from Mark. There's a kill for Kanavi as well. And it looks like it's so a three. For some of these less offensive items. And Braum as well, not able to push out very well. We've got a root down, it's coming onto Mark, and he is gone from the play. Low and game. this is where they want to start to get the ball rolling. When we look at them in playoffs, they've actually I had the back he'll be able to come in with the ultimate. Honestly, JDG are looking far stronger oh, right now. Flashing from Lan Xing. It's going to be Xie making a play towards the top side. Zoom cannot get Meganar in time. Jumps away with the flash, but the Ignite comes in at the last second. This was the version of LGD that we witnessed against IG, against WE, and now Kanavi's in trouble on the top side of the map. Pino should be able to close the gap. But in comes Yagao to deny the play. Now on towards Lan Xing, who might just have Dominus up in a moment or two. Dragon's Rage is going to be available. It's a kill going the way of Yagao. And Zoom Kramer. cannot contest this. LGD are doing a good job of playing around their lanes. They throw Zoom. Zoom, why are you trying to get into this one? Langshin gonna get the stun. Now TP coming out from Yagao. That's why he's trying to get in onto this one. Torn onto Langshin as he's the target. They start this fight off with Lamb's Respite to keep himself safe as Kanavi finishes off the Herald. Now back onto the play. Stopwatch used. And LGD, they're the ones with the health bars. And this turret is incredibly low. This is not much of a defense for them. Lanshing jumps in and rends through the whole squad. Zoom barely escaping with his life. With a flash forward from Shiei, the wild card's dodged by Kanavi. Far ahead in this mid lane. He's got a 20 CS advantage. He's got three kills and two assists. He's already finished his Rod of Ages at 12 minutes. But Mark. Ooh, good flash out from Mark. But he's going to be followed by Kanavi. Kicked back into the pit. That was a thing of beauty from Kanavi. This kill will go the way of the JDG jungler. And there's no answer across the map from LGD. Mistake from Mark Papino. Oh, actually, there is an answer, because Kanavi stepped too far, zooms away, has himself a magic shield as in comes the Galio, knock up Skalor, and it doesn't matter if you're fed, if you're just battered around the play. Flash forward from Lumao, but he misses the hook. It's new to watching JDG that just saw game number two. That is not the style that we expect out of JDG. This is a mid-game team fighting. Oh. Dragon gonna be started immediately by JDG. They're just gonna burst this one out and take it immediately. Goes away at JDG, that's their first strike of the game. Flash out from Peanut as he jumps back into the pit once more. Lunching with the Dominus. But out goes the Galio to the rest of his team. JDG just trying to retreat. Great short fissure though. In comes Zoom, knocks everybody back. It's only onto Mark, and he sacrifices his life for it. This is going well. His Lanshing flashes in, taunted though, and kites it out. Two kills. For well, for JDG is trying to hold on to his side. They turrets, but Zoom. 
Uh, Zoom might be in trouble here, but the Rage Gene will stack incredibly quickly with that Dominus in play. He's going to find a Gnar ultimate, but I mean, it's 1v4. Mid lane, catch out JDG. So by LGD getting these structures down now, they're... They've backed away from this play. They realize this is not something they can go for. I love LGD's call here, though. You can see them pinging towards that Baron itself, set up on this flank position. Yagao is going to spot it out, though, as LGD encroach. This could be everything. Keep your eyes on Loken. He has to try and survive. He is the damage on the side of JDG. Chie's destiny has now timed out, though, so he doesn't have a way to get in on the flank. It's all down to Lanshing to be the front line of Mark to try and find an engage. JDG to start off the Dragon, though. They don't want a 50-50 this one. This would be sold for LGD. JDG reset the Dragon. They move into the pit. They take this one, but a knock-up onto Luma. In goes Zoom with a Gnar ulti. In comes Galio to slam from the skies. The stopwatches do work, though, for LGD as they survive the play. Lunching in the middle of everyone. Cuts them down, but he's alone now. As you see, Yagao going way too deep in the back of LGD. It's going to be two for one but it's going to most importantly be the Dragon for JDG. Look at Shie though, he's cutting them off. JDG are in a trap. Gold card is Prime Peanut trying to chase these kills down. Kanavi, the target of Zoom is eliminated. What a true shot barrage. The stopwatch comes out from Kanavi, but he knows he's done four on this. What? Kanavi! You may All take him for the rest of the series. Yagao. Should be able to get out with his life here. The Glacier Fisher getting a knock-up though. He's still full HP as he gets underneath the tower. The rest of the team is here. He's gonna be all right on this one. Root comes out from Loke and they're gonna keep the tier two alive for now, but one auto will finish that one off. LGD finds this himself. tier two. And LGD, they are looking to snowball. They are looking to finish. push them back. That two minutes towards Dragon, LGD fall back take that soul and then return to the team. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it for JDG. Loken could be in trouble. Winter's might lands. Zoom is exhausted though. 40 seconds before the base book. LGD shoving back JDG. This is what that wave control uh -oh. means. Zoom's in trouble here. Slow comes out from the Runa, uh, from the Rabadon, sorry. It's not a Rabadons. Zoom will get out with his life, but only just here. He's about to go mega though. As Yagao happy to be the tank on the front line for now, but he has to turn Golden to keep himself safe. Zoom about to turn into Meganar, jumps into the back line, hits four of them, and the CC chain is massive. In comes the Galio, and Kramer forced out of the fight, but he's turning around with the damage here. Shie is, oh, it's Peanut that's going down. Now Kurt Cole across the team as well, but LGD is still going strong. Keep your eyes on Shie, who just annihilates everybody. Double kill on the Twisted Fate. Kramer's Make their way over. This is going to be Ocean Soul now for LGD. And that might just be it. Much more potent, although they may just be looking for the pick here. They're going to go towards the top side here. Yagao the target. Just his punch available to try and escape with a TP. Add a zoom to join in on the play. He's not going to be Meganar though. As Lumao tries to get over the wall, but he'll be stunned up and he will be taken down. First kill goes the way of Kramer. True shot rush just to scout everyone out. This should go down in favor of LGD. Kanavi backs away and another objective in favor of our blue team. And it feels like LGD have found the Rabadons their... will uh, make a nice little buff to that Lich Bane proc. And already you can see that terror going down. Lanxing putting pressure mid. One more auto like that from Xie. And this bot lane terror falls. They're going to be able to finish off at very least one tower. They've still got a minute and a half on the Baron. There is no rush for LGD. They can do this all day long. First inhib will fall. In the meantime, Lanxing sets up the wave. In the mid lane, Peanut's been caught though. That's a Gnar ulti for Chaos to keep him safe. Now they jump straight onto Zoom. He's tanky, but he ain't tanky enough. Now they've found a pick on Kramer who flashes out of the play. JDG just can't find anything on this one. Lamb's respite to keep the AD carry safe. And now the siege continues once more in the mid lane. But they might not stop Dagda. Four versus five. They aren't going to stop the hook from Lumel. Here we go. Galio slams into the play. They're trying to finish this one off, and they might just be able to do so. Down goes Kanavi, down goes Yagao, and down goes the whole of JDG as LGD find themselves a win in this series and find themselves a lifeline. Diving the fountain is Shie as LGD grab game three. From Kanavi's point of view, we'll be looking to try and play around this bottom side. So we'll see if Kanavi can get anything rolling through that Leona pick on towards something like the Bard for Mark here. It's a flash bend from Lunch Shane. They're still going to push in underneath this turret, though. You have Zoe beginning to oh, roll. Level 6 already found for Zoom. The knockups are everywhere. Lunch Shane keeps himself alive for the Searing Charge. One more auto. Lumao goes down, though. It's a 1 for 1. And especially for this Dragon on the bot side. And Peanut is going to be the first one on the scene here. Grabs himself an Infernal Drake to start. Okay. While all of this goes down, I guess. 
2,000 HP. In goes Lumao, gonna be pulled back with Zoom. Brittle on everyone in the play. Lumao surviving for a bit, but goes down eventually. Langshing now on the play, as it's gonna be one for one to start things off. Curtain Call comes out. Shockwave only onto Kanavi. Lamb's Rest Bike keeps him safe. And everyone's out of the curtain call here. Final shot here with Zoom able to demolish this tower. This is going to be an objective trade across the board. As the Dragon going to be coming up. In the meantime, it looks like a bit of a dive. Kanavi's third mark of the game. And the opportunity for a gank mid. She is super far overextended. Zoom gets the top lane. There's any real opportunity for any kind of steal. Lamb's Rest by Force. Nice shockwave from Shie. Just the strongest, a fourth Dragon. Here we go. We've got to play on the top side. Lunching the target. And that Ornhorn Horn is going to make escaping very difficult. Knocked sky high. And Yagao should be able to be the one to finish this kill off. Zoom happy to donate it over to the Zoe of the mid lane. And give that pick opportunity for LGD to start off these fights. Oh, that's a trouble bubble, but it's a shockwave to answer in with the impale. And that is the kill. Mind, Yagao does not have his teleport available. So there's no way this mid laner will be a part of a dragon play unless it's real slow. She ate the target here as see Call of the Forge got used very aggressively from the side of Zoom. Now Kanavi has to use his Lamb's Rest by Shie, putting so much pressure on the enemy jungler. And Kanavi's probably going to go down, flashes over the wall though. It's going to be stunned by Lang Sheng. Will fall to the Crocodile, who's rampaging through the team of JDG. Shield comes out, and another fight win for LGD as they start off this Drake. JDG still trying to get in here though. That's going to be the curtain call. Gonna try and snipe Lang Xing here. Won't find the fourth shot as Loken now has to move in. Mark is off on this side. He is low though. Needs to be a little cautious on how he plays this one out. 3,000 on the Drake. Kanavi nowhere to be seen. The crit! The flash comes out from Mark to keep himself alive. Now on towards the Dragon. Bear in mind there are spellbooks in the game. This is stealable theoretically. Peanut takes a massive chunk of damage. JDG, they can keep this up all day. They've got Poke going for days. Lan Xing pushes out the wave in the bottom side, returns to the play. They're keeping the Dragon Locust. Kanavi is on his way. True Shop Barrage is in. They don't finding picks. JDG somehow get both a Dragon and a Tower. And that's the problem. You didn't have the damage build up to get there fast enough. JDG respond. They will get this bot side Terror as well, thanks to the Rift Terror. Once more, Kanavi's over the wall. Wants to try and find himself steel, four and a half. On the Dragon right now, Yagao getting chased by Lan Xing, who's going to try and get over the wall. Lu Mao might be in a bit of trouble himself. Root comes out onto Lan Xing, he's tanking inside of the pit. Curtain call across the fight as well, but Loken tempered fate to keep him away. Zoom happy to tank on the front line as Lu Mao has to flash out of the pit. We've got to see some kind of steel come out from Kanabi if he wants to go for the Drake, and he does. Lamb's rest fight to keep himself safe as well. Kramer has to jump out of the fight. In the meantime, it's all on Shie. Shockwave onto two, but Lumao turns golden to keep himself safe. Now Lan Xing getting into the middle of the fight, getting in the middle of everyone, but he falls down. Three versus four, and Loken's alone, but in comes Yagao on the Zoe to make the plays happen. One more auto, but he goes down, and LGD barely holding on. Yagao trying to turn this fight around, but Ganavi's still going. Forces Shie low. Oh, we're into oh, a fight. Hang on. We got another one on our hands. Shie's been caught. The one man had his life stolen twice now oh, by Kanavi. But the King of Thieves is not feeling confident right now. He moves away from the play entirely. And this is the Baron going the way of JDG. And JDG. the hallmark of their victories. And once again, JDG looking to see if they can flank on to LGD, catch them out. But LGD will back away. Well, they found another pick, apparently. Kanavi gets a find onto Mark here. Trouble bubble underneath the tower means everyone has to back away. Zoom actually committing a teleport to this one. I'm not sure that was 100% necessary, but either way, they're going to continue the siege. Lumao threatening the dive now as he steps on forward with his Eclipse. Just going to scare everyone off because the towers are falling like paper right now. Like butter through a hot knife or the other way around. Now towards this top side of the map where the minion wave has already pushed in. The Baron comes in, Lan Xing just trying to clear the wave as much as he can. But with double AD carries, these towers don't stand a chance. LGD have got to make something happen. Onto Lu Mao they go, but Call of the Forge God. Knockups onto three people. They can't quite finish this tower off. There's another knockup across this team. A zoom doing everything he can, but he's falling low. Lamb's rest fights keep him safe. There are five members strong for LGD. Shockwave keeps him in the play, and LGD turning this one around. Down goes Zoom, double kill for Kramer, and now on to go. This is the moment to turn it around. And LGD will just about to hold make these picks happen. JDG just respecting right now, not willing to risk. You're going to be in great shape. 
Now the Siege on this bottom side from JDG. They know that they have the gold lead. It's not as significant as previous games, but it's enough for them to... Ward finally cleared. There's a trouble bubble onto Mark. Has the magical journey out of the play. Keenan stacking forward, gets onto Lumao. The support may just go down, but the stone plate keeps him alive for a tiny bit. One for one so far, as that's going to be Shea dropping. Shockwave, not enough lambs. Respite keeps everyone safe for now. Who will fall at the end of the ulti? Mark is the next one to go, but it's double kill for Kramer, who's just free firing at the back of the fight. Yagao steps forward, Logan with a double of his own, and that's going to be a trouble bubble. Kramer can't escape. There's a pillar, though. Keeps himself alive for now. Logan with the crits coming on through. He's chasing it down. His Swifty's intact, and he falls on in to grab himself a double kill. Look at the style. Logan with the double. Double kill to end it all for LGD. They were so close. They fought their way back. No shockwave from Shie though. We'll spell their end. This is it. JDG have done it. The TPs come on in. They get onto the base here. JDG as the Nexus crumbles. The world trembles after years of denial. JDG enter the world stage to stand among the greats. The kings of spring are now poised to defend their throne.